Hi everyone! Welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, and I hope that you'll enjoy this um, channel and come back. And if you're a returning friend, I thank you so much for all your support. So, it is Friday, Friday afternoon, and this is what I've had. Not my day. So it started yesterday. <laughs> My mom called me and talked to me after I had done my video and said, um, maybe you should try to call the doctor, the heart doctor, and get me uh, <clears throat> in an appointment because I've been having some tightness in my chest and a little trouble breathing. And, you know, it's no big deal, but it's been happening more than once, so I probably need to have it checked. And I'm like, yeah, I think so, Mom. So I called, and I couldn't see her for a few days. And... I, she did not exactly explain to me exactly what was happening, so it's hard for me to tell them. So, um, they couldn't see her, but he said, why don't you, um, the scheduling desk said, why don't you leave his nurse a message, and she'll call you back probably in the morning, and if anything happens, you know, go to the ER, and I said, oh, absolutely. So I, I left a message for his nurse, and she called me back first thing this morning. And I didn't sleep worth last night, so I am one tired cookie today. Um, and I explained the symptoms and what she was having, and she said, well, she has a pacemaker, so let's get a reading of the pacemaker, and we can electronically send that. So she had Brian call me, and he said, yeah, go ahead, and I'll be looking for it, and, uh, and then we'll let you know what we see. And because um, to me, and we, we were sort of thinking it was AFib, and afibulation, which is not good and leads to strokes. So, um, I went over and we did the pacemaker and we sent, sent it electronically. She just holds it over the pacemaker and it reads it and it beep, beep, beep. And sends it on. Modern medicine. <laughs> Amazing stuff. <clears throat> so, um, she's doing okay and feeling okay. She's glad I talked to the doctor. I said, well, I'm going to wait for the nurse or the doctor or Brian to call us back. So the nurse called me back about noon and said um, she is having some AFib and uh, Dr. Shaw would like her to, thinks that she should probably go to the ER. And um, he, she said, or he can see her in. He would see her this afternoon and check on her and evaluate her and see what he thinks. So, of course, Mom chose to go see him. And I don't blame her. The ER is a horrible place to be, especially during flu season, and, you know, it's a pit of germs. So we went over to his office, and she is moving so slow and having so much trouble. Um, I've not seen her like this in a, in a long while. And he checked her out and talked to her, and her blood pressure was a little high, and her ankles are swollen. And so she was describing to him again what was happening to her during these episodes, and he just looked at her and said, my dear, that's angina. You're, you're having angina. So he said, because of the pacemaker, we can't tell if you've had a heart attack or not. But, you know, we really need to get you uh, into the cath lab and get a catheterization done, see if you have any blockages or any, anything like that. See what's going on. So he really, even though it's a Friday afternoon, he wanted her to go to the ER. He tried to check her in directly, um, pre-admit her, but they had like four people on a waiting list for the, um, the heart, um, ICU, heart place, wherever, that floor anyway. So he said, you know, the only thing he could do was to send her to the ER and let them work her in. And she just kept saying, oh, I don't want to do that. You know, you're not doing the heart catheterization till Monday. Can't I go home? And he said, well, you know, this is really dangerous. This is serious. And she said, well, I know, but I haven't had any episodes in two days. So he, he just, you know, 
said, okay, um, I'm going to send you to get blood work and I'm going to send you to get an x-ray right now. And if everything looks good, you know, and you don't have any symptoms, you know, we'll just schedule your catheterization for Monday. But if you have anything, you go to the ER immediately. And he looked at me and I said, N yes. So as, as she's leaving, she goes out the door before me and he looks at me and I said, I'll watch her real close. And he said, yes, real close. And he said, and anything, take her to the ER, don't wait. And I said, I know. So we go and get the blood and the chest x-ray and we're on our way home and she's still going, I know he wanted me to go, but I don't want to go sit over there for hours among all the germs and everything. And I, I get her point and then be in a hospital for two days knowing you're not having anything go on until Monday. And, um, but she would be in a safe place if something did happen. But anyway, so... You know, she keeps saying, I'm not ready yet. I'm going to make 90. I want to make 90, you know, and that'll be October. So I looked at her when we got home and I said, okay, mom, you have to promise me, promise me that you will tell me if you have any symptoms, any tightness, any breathe, anything you have to tell me. You can't ignore it now. You know, it's serious. It's not just, you know, fatigue or whatever. You are having um, heart issues. And I said, if you want to see 90, you have to promise me that you'll tell me. And she said, oh, I will. I will. And um, so she said she would let me know. So I'll be watching. I'll be on Mom Watch all weekend. And then Monday she'll have a catheterization. So we could use your prayers and healing thoughts sent our way. And um, I appreciate you all hanging in there with me during this time. It's scary for me, too. You know, just is. So, I got a couple of Valentines I wanted to share with you. One was from Phoenix, Stanky Cheese. And look at it. It is so cute. You get that bear with a little butterfly. And then she made it. And I like this. A fun fact. <laughs> this is so funny. Armadillos can be housebroken. And she had this face with a big question mark and I'm like hmm, not at my house so <laughs> hope you are doing fantastic sweet Linda thank you Phoenix that is so cute and she had some cute little little uh, glitter in there but it's all on my table right now and then I got a card from Debbie's Random World so let's see what that is <laughs> oh that's cute look at this it's Valentine's Day. Pounce on some fun. That's a cute kitty. Annie's been playing with her toys again. Oh, gosh, there's more glitter stuff in there, too. You guys love this stuff. Oh, it's so pretty. Make it a perfectly marvelous one. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. She says she loves me bunches, and I love her too. And then she sent me this. Look at how cute this is. It's a little packet of scented stickers. And it says, love you. Woo, perfumey. Oh, they're cute. Super cute. Oh, look at that. That would be fun. So, that has been my day spent in the doctor's office and worrying about mom but you know I know the Lord has this in hand and and um I feel a calmness about it I just I can't help but worry just because she's my mama you know so um I have a little cute little story to tell you um every year at at um Tiger's um, elementary school they have a little valentine dance and um, he goes, of course, the boys all are on one side and the girls are all on the other, especially, you know, the younger grades. They just, or the girls dance with each other and they just kind of run around. And anyway, it's, it's a little socialization. <clears throat> well, um, this year, there's a girl Tiger likes. I'm not even supposed to know because it's a big secret. <laughs> and she's a friend and they, you know, they've known each other for several years, but he... 
likes her. And um, so um, she's going to be there tonight. And he um, he told his dad yesterday, he said, I have to, you know, I have to look fancy schmancy for this, um, for this Valentine's dance, Dad. So you got to take me shopping. So I think they got him a, a neat little shirt and some jeans and a little blazer. And um, they got him something last year, too, new, because he usually wears it, and then he wears it for um, Easter. And... Um, Blake sent up a picture, and he was so cute. I was so cute. He was so cute. He's just so cute. And so I'm just excited. So I just talked to Sarah, and we were talking about Mom. And, and I said, y'all have fun tonight. And I said, I know I'm not supposed to know about the girl, but I do. And she said, I know. She goes, they probably won't even talk. You know, she said, he'll blush, and, you know, but, you know, it's just cute. And it's a good beginning socialization, you know, well, just life, so, I don't know, I feel like I'm babbling, oh, I got a couple of things from AliExpress I want to share, one is this bag of these little flowers, look at the colors, aren't they pretty, I'm going to open it up, this was not very much, dollar or something, oops, well, I can't get it open, they're so pretty, they're little, just, I love the pa the vintage looking colors of them. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Purples and the yellows and the greens and those are just so pretty. Very vintage looking. And they sent me a little gift with some little cut out pink gingham hearts. Isn't that, not hearts, but uh, flowers. Isn't that cute? And they got little holes in them to put on something. So cute. So there was that. So that's all I've got. I'm exhausted. I'm going to take my book and read and try to get some sleep and, and hope that everything goes well with mom. So I hope all of you are going to have a wonderful weekend. Uh, my, um, it is cold as anything. Yesterday it was raining like crazy and today it's like windy and cold. I mean really cold. For George. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. You people in the north with snow up to mm, are going, what do you mean cold? You know, but anyway, it was cold for us in our thin southern blood. So, <laughs> but thank you all so much. Um, I will be back when I'm back, and hopefully nothing happens this weekend, and everything will be good, and I will be back and check in with you as soon as I can. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support and your love. And I will talk to you soon. Bye now.